So you bought an electric water pump and you have some installation questions. The three most common installation questions are how do I run the power, how do I plumb in a heater core, and do I need a thermostat? I'll answer all those questions in this short video. Hooking up power is simple. The pump includes a pigtail with a red lead and a black lead. Connect the black lead to ground. Connect the red lead to ignition power. That is battery power when the key is in the on position. Typically there are open locations in your fuse block that can be tapped into or connect directly to battery power with a toggle switch. Anytime the engine is running, you want the pump to also run. Plumbing to a heater core or an external bypass is also easier than you might think. Your hot hose into the heater core will come from the intake manifold, just like with a mechanical pump. At the bottom of the electric water pump are two threaded pipe holes. One is for the lower radiator hose, the other is for a heater return. If you need to run an external bypass, that can also be teed in here. Or plug it if you have neither. Since this hole is pipe thread, brass or stainless fittings can easily be sourced from a plumbing section at any hardware store. If you used a thermostat with a mechanical pump, why wouldn't you use one with an electric pump? The thermostat is a mechanical flow control valve. Zero to minimal flow is allowed when it is closed. As the spring compresses with heat, the thermostat opens for more flow. This helps the engine get up to operating temp quickly and maintain operating temperature. The thermostat does not care if coolant flow comes from a mechanical pump or an electric pump. So yes, you probably need a thermostat. And that is the meat of what you need to know about installing an electric water pump.